know where you are. You are in Blessed by Fan Network. Yes. Unknown government. By several Janjawi Flanese. Moving into our land with truck of ammunition. Hello, viewers, welcome to my channel. Now it has come to our notice that some Janjawi has been killed and their motto set on fire. As they enter into our land with a lorry full with ammunition and arms. It's quite unfortunate that uh, these people have continued to come into our indigenous land to kill our innocent brothers and sisters. They have continued to rape them in different ways. And we have continued to tell them to stop coming into our land with arms and ammunition and they have refused to understand that. To this time, this time around, they are loading them into our land with trailer, load of lorry. This is quite unacceptable. The military are the ones causing this problem. They claim they came to our land to safeguard our land, whereas they are liars from pit of hell. Rather, what they are doing is destroying our land. Instead, they are bringing more terrorists into our land. I've said it before, and I will continue to say it. Anybody who is doing everything, anything he wants to do, should use his name and stop implicating mass in the town. It's very important that all these whole people who are killing our people is being taken care of. But you have to bear them when you are doing it. All this nonsense about this and that have to stop. Mazen Nandikao did not create any disciple. He did not. If we are talking about followers, he have them. Those who believe in him, there are many of them. He did not create any one disciple or any two disciples or any three disciples. That nonsense have to stop. People have to answer their name, especially when they are doing something that they know is a right thing to do, but it's dangerous. They should stop calling Mazen Nandikao's name. Like I said before, or like I was saying, I love what they did by stopping those terrorists from entering our land with a lorry full of arms. Whoever did it, I love that. It's the right thing to do. The very right thing to do. Because we have told them several times to stop coming into our land with AK-47. But they have refused to listen. That land belongs to us. It's an indigenous land. We cannot go to a land with AK-47 in a trailer. Believe me, we will be murdered immediately as even planning to step in by police or soldiers. But soldiers and police allow these people to come into our land with such kind of ammunition. This is because they are aiding them. They are aiding them. This is the kind of game I like to play. When those who claim that they know too much, those who call themselves flannel terrorists, who think that they can do anything and go away with it. These are the kind of game I love, I love to play. But when you are playing it, whoever you are, play it with your name. This is a hard time for everybody who are in this struggle. Because people are suffering, people are dying in the process. And our leader is in DSS custody. But that does not mean that we, that are self-employed, should not do what we know how to do best by getting rid of this menace from our land. Mazen Nandika did not employ any force. We are just people flowing his wisdom. But if we decide to do something else at the process, nobody should blame him for it. Why I'm saying this is because, as far as I'm concerned, whatever I'm doing, nobody should blame Mazen Nandika for it. I'm doing it on my own. Tomorrow, when the time comes, I will bear it with my own head. This is what I love so much. Time has come. We have to start dealing with this Janjaweed.
I have said this several times and I thank God that this happened. Though I know that they are going to come. They are soldiers, not even the gentle because they are so afraid. These people you are seeing, they call themselves like they are so afraid. To the extent, if you see it, know how the panics, you will not believe it. But when you see them with all those ammunition, you think maybe they can face them face to face with their own ammunition, you will see how they will be run away. This is the people I have already read like book. But like I said, governor of Enugu State should stay away from this matter. He should stay away. He was there when the murdered the Enugu youth. More than 50 of them. From that same forest that the soldiers claim they are staying. That same forest that these people claim that they are staying. Is the, that same forest that these people came out from and killed our innocent brothers and sisters. I think this is a payback time. And the final one should stay away from the matter. Whoever is the unknown government that did this, this is what we are expecting from you. Not going around and killing our brothers and sisters. In these guys. Whoever is pushing you to do this, I can say that this is the first time I can see you doing the right thing by tackling all these criminals who are coming to our land to take care of themselves. And our honorable said that what people did is right because we cannot continue to bury our people in our own indigenous land, not that we are not people's land and we were killed. This is our land. And somebody will come from somewhere and murder our parents, our brothers, our sisters. Because some of us who are deadly brutal, we are somewhere desperate. This is unacceptable. It's very, very unacceptable. And this is more reason why everybody has to open his eyes. We must not allow flying to cover our land. We must not. We must not. These are the kind of things we're supposed to be doing to secure our land while we peacefully gain our independence and move away from these God-forsaken people who has refused to grow up. Not the other way around. Not killing our brothers and sisters. Not calling them to bring ransom. Telling all sorts of things. Not using the name of ESN to commit atrocities. This is what I personally dislike. But what just happened now, the burning of that truck that was carrying ammunition into our land by Janjaweed is the kind of game I love to play. And I thank anybody that did it. Let them go back to their land since they have refused to stay in our land and follow the rules and regulations of the owners of the land. If any man is in their land who has refused to follow the rules and regulations, let them send him back. After all, they are the one causing this problem. If they are building in their land, I don't think we will continue to suffer like this in this contraction. Every time you hear them talking about property, 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 what do I do with my property? If anything happens, what do I do with my property? These are the people causing us problems. Like I said before, it's very good that this thing happened today. And we will continue to make sure that more and more happen. Like I said before, this is the first time the so-called unknown government is doing the right thing. And I think I've come to the end of this news. This is when players are share. Cheers. See them. Hey. See them move away then carry come. Where them born now now. Jesus Christ. Now wow. This flying people serve. See where they burn some of them. Hey! The ammo is on fire.